Hey everybody, this is Will Tone down here at Van Tile Productions, and today I'm going to be picking apart uh, the Miley Cyrus version of Jolene. Now this is a Dolly Parton uh, song that she wrote back in the 70s. It was a number one hit, and uh, this is a great uh, finger picking thing that um, is called Travis picking. And here's the here's the riff. One time I'll play through it. One time it's uh, something like this. <laughs> So we're going to be breaking that uh, breaking that riff apart. It's a mostly right hand part over here. What I've got going on first is we've put the capo on the third fret, and I'm playing and what breaks down to an A minor, the shape that we probably for guitar players we all play as an A minor chord. Of course, if we went to the piano, this would uh, sound like C minor. But um, I think in books and uh, you know tabs and everything, they always show just the A minor chord. So we're going to go with that now with this uh, this type of style. Um, kind of the main ingredient of this thing is the thumb over here is going to be rocking between two different strings the whole time and it normally kind of shakes out on the downbeat. Um, now depending on what chord we play it might be the sixth string sometimes but for this song we're just playing between the fifth and the fourth strings right here. So this is um, that's probably the first thing you'd want to get going is just be able to alternate the thumb between the fifth and the fourth strings and normally for a song uh, in this style in this Travis Pickens style that uh, bass note is going to fall on the downbeat so that could just be like one two three four one two three four um, in this song it kind of feels like a cut time so maybe we count that one and two and but it's the same difference either way now as far as the other two fingers I'm gonna be doing something with my index finger index finger is gonna be playing the third string the whole time so anytime we have a note um, with the index finger that's going to be our third string and the middle finger is going to take care of the second string so every time we have a note with the second string that's going to be played with our middle finger so just index and middle uh, for this whole thing um, I'm going to break this lick into four parts and the first one is I'm just holding down the A minor chord with one exception lifting up the uh, first finger over here um, and it creates a you know sus2 chord and the first part is we just roll through um, this order got my index on the third string middle on the second string and keep in mind that every time we do the thumb it's going to be on a different string it's going to alternate so i'm going to go thumb index thumb on the next string fourth string and middle so the first four notes in the first beat thumb index thumb middle so so far we've got one more time real slow thumb index thumb and notice I'm just holding this uh, A minor chord without the uh, without the first finger there. Cool. Now the next step is, and for the next beat, what's going to happen is I'm going to back to the thumb, going back to the fifth string. So we're going to play the thumb, and then what's going to happen there is when we play the um, when we play the uh, fourth string, we're going to hammer on the entire A minor chord. So I'm going to pick I'm going to pick my thumb on the fourth string, and the middle finger, which does the second string, and we're going to go something like that. So I'm going to play the thumb on the fourth string, index on the second, or I'm sorry, middle on the second string, and then the entire chord hammers on. Of course, it's only, we don't, we're not hearing the note in the middle there. We're just hearing those, uh, those two outside strings. So this second beat is going to go, so thumb and then thumb and middle together with the right hand. And while we do that, we're hammering on the entire A minor chord. This also might take a second if you're starting out with this type of style. So maybe just working on just getting that chord there. It's also another good thing. So, so far we've got, I'm gonna put it all together. We're halfway there. So one more time. Cool. Step three is really easy. It's gonna go, keep in mind, index finger plays the third string. Thumb alternates between fifth and fourth. It's the, here's part three, thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb. So that's. And last but not least for part four, we are going to do another thing where we lift up our first finger over here with the, uh, with the left hand. It's going to be the thumb and the middle finger playing the second string with a pull off right there. So notice I played the thumb and the middle finger together. The same string that the middle finger pulled over here was pulled off over there with the left hand. 
And the very last note is the middle, I'm sorry, thumb and index finger pulling the fourth and third strings together. So part four was. Cool, all together, real slow. One more time. Now for an added effect in the uh, Miley Cyrus version, the guitar little palm mute down here on the, on the intro of the song. So instead of this sound, we get something that sounds more like this. And that's a, oops. And that's just covering the string just slightly right here as it comes across the bridge. To slightly muffle the string, if you go too far down, it kind of cuts the note off. So right at right on the bridge, you can still hear uh, hear those notes sounding off. So that's just an added effect that you can throw in there if you want to. So there it is. That's Miley Cyrus's version of Jolene. The rest of it is really easy. It goes to C and G, and uh, mainly that's the uh, that's the hard part to play. So have some fun with it. Thanks.